kidding me, dude? Give me your coochie! I just realized that my cats might be scared of me, so I kind of want to see if they are. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you want one? Okay, I'm gonna peel it off. Uh... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this in there too because it tastes like shit if I don't mmm delicious even is living by the moon. Well, I'm glad you asked. Living by the moon. Look at her. I love you. I love you. Okay, anyways, one day I was super under the influence of a substance. I was journaling for a full moon that was in Cancer or something like that. I just had this like random download. I got this little voice in my head that was like, why aren't you doing this every day? Like, why are you only doing this from the new moons and the full moon. So from that moment, like that random thought or download or whatever it was, I just started doing this every day. Like I was like, oh, like it actually doesn't make any sense that I'm not doing this every day. The moon rules emotions and intuition. Living my life like this has put me so in tune with my intuition and my emotions and it just gives me a framework of understanding how to handle my emotions that day. Like I'm a super emotional person, so to be able to like 
know the way that I'm probably going to be affected that day or not. Like on a day where like the moon is in Cancer, it's gonna be an emotional day for everyone. That's just the energy of the moon that day. But if I know the moon is in Cancer, then I can take extra time to recharge that day. I can meditate for extra long and journal for extra long. Like if I'm feeling nostalgic or like cry, like I always do, I will respect those emotions and flow with it instead of trying to go against it. It's just using the energy of the sign that day. You can do this with all the planets, of course, but the moon rules your emotions and intuition and it changes every two and a half days. So like versus the sun that changes literally like every month. So like today the moon is in Taurus. This is what I put on my Instagram stories. Every few days I'll post on my Instagram story so everyone else is updated too. Taurus energy is so sensual, but not like in a sexual manner. I mean, yeah, that too, but like senses, like literally five senses. Like they are so grounded and in touch with the physical through their five senses. It's very much a day where I indulge in, their stereotype is like indulging, um, in the little things that I love about life. I've said this before, there is a stereotype of them being like overindulgent or lazy. Taurus energy to me is like royalty. Like it's not that they're lazy, it's that they're literally just selective with their energy. My best friend from high school is a Taurus. Chase, if you're watching this, I love you. My dad is a Taurus. My dad is my favorite human on this planet. Like. My dad is like, I love my dad so much. Capricorns are my favorite, but Tauruses are just like so close. So I have Taurus in my second house. So I should have put some money into my savings. I'll just be spending my day like doing all my favorite shit pretty much, which I never do. I literally wake up, do my morning routine and then work all day until I fall asleep. And then I wake up the next day and then I do my morning routine and then I work until I fall asleep. And I do it over and over and over. So when the moon is in Taurus, it's, such a special day for me because like I never actually indulge which is actually wait it's actually kind of weird because my Saturn is in Taurus and your Saturn is a placement that can show you where you restrict yourself like Saturn is like daddy energy I'm really sorry I don't know like why that came out of my mouth but it's like restrictive kind of like Capricorn's ruled by Saturn so it's like discipline restrict it's a ton of things but what I've noticed is like People are really, really rigid and restrictive with their self with the placement that they have. Like me, Taurus, I don't own things. Like I do now, but like before my ex, like before we lived together, my apartment, I lived in a studio apartment that had absolutely no furniture, a bed that was on the floor. Like I didn't even have a bed frame and like a bowl and like a few forks that I stole from the restaurant that I worked at. Like with my apartment now, it's so hard, but I'm really trying to get past that because I think it's like a limiting belief that it's me feeling like I don't deserve things because, or with just like allowing myself to like take breaks. Like I never take breaks. I never indulge in little things. I haven't watched a movie since Christmas. I don't even own a TV. So that's something I really, really, really need to work on. I'm going to start <laughs> the rest of my moon and Taurus day. It's a really good movie. <laughs> Super good. I can't stop. It was so good. I tried to eat. I thought maybe I was just hungry, so I ate again. Nope. Did not help. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> okay, how special is it that a movie could make me cry for hours? Okay, not that special because I do cry a lot, but like, I don't know, that was so healing. Like, I feel so cleansed now. After my shower and after everything, like, I just feel really good now. And that's all because of art. Like, art is so special. It gives you a little wave to ride out your emotions. Like, get the negative ones out. I'm so tired. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here and good night and I love you. Mmm, it's delicious.